So I'll, I'll start this uh, uh, presentation. It's not going to be too long, but please feel free to uh, ask any questions. So I'm going to skip this bit because this is just a timeline. So a brief uh, history. I said to you, I started back in 2008. I started my Arabic translated meme on Facebook. It didn't last uh, long, only three months. Out of the blue, I got blocked. Uh, I was telling Kimal, I, I started experience for the first time the form of anxieties because you wake up one morning having not been reported once, having not had any uh, problem, and suddenly my page of 15,000 gets closed. Um, I supported another page called the Ex-Muslim Memes. He was a Pakistani atheist. Uh, he was running it from Pakistan with a big risk for his life. I supported him there, and again, the page lasted only one year and then closed, actually less than a year. But he had another page as well called the Atheist Republic of Pakistan with two other people. They got me in as an admin. Um, again, big risk for them, I thought, but I helped them, and they put a, created a backup page called Haram Stuff. And uh, at the end, uh, we had challenges. I'm going to show them, and then I opened my Arabic translated meme on Instagram in 2001. So I had little documentation from this period because I genuinely believed that the that social media is fair, and I was shocked every time things happened. But I have a lot more documentation from this period, and I'm going to share them with you today. So the Atheist Republic of Pakistan has about 13,000 followers. Um, it was one of the first platforms to welcome me uh, to share my memes, and you can see they were spreading a lot. Uh, this is one week, this is another week, uh, 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 185,000 engagement spread to 280,000 people and the next one 438,000 people in one week it was spreading very very wild one record we reached at the time was half a million in one single week it was it, it had only 13,000 but people were starving for the material in Pakistan this is what I'm talking about. They want to see they want to read it was being shared people were engaging with it. Um, and and sharing it. And by the way, this wouldn't be even half the amount because most people will screenshot and share. And we, we saw evidence of that being shared on other groups whereby the memes were being copied, not shared. So we know we were reaching millions every week and, and we were cheering for the number of shares. And I know your page is doing something very similar as well, if not better, because you have 40,000. It's spreading. Don't just look at the number of shares. People are actually copying it, and I can see them on other pages, atheists and ex-Muslim pages being shared. The impact was substantial because they're clean, they, because there are... And I've had people who are Muslims who are looking at them and laughing as well because they're not meant to be harmful. But we were being shot right, left, and center. Like, for instance, uh, the Facebook page got shot in Pakistan uh, shortly after we became very popular. You, my, my co-admin uh, uh, would open it. Who's stopping it? It's not Pakistan because Pakistan didn't stop Facebook. It was Facebook blocking the page for Pakistan. And this is, this is the cancel culture that they say they're against. But there you go. Even the page ex-Muslim meme got blocked in Pakistan. Ironically, they sent me an email telling me that you know uh, I've been uh, you know summoned to a court somewhere in Pakistan and that my page is going to be blocked. Of course, I just ignored them. And shortly after, the admin from Pakistan informed me, "Guess your page got blocked." And I said, "Fine." Uh, it didn't harm my content because Pakistanis use a lot of VPN and they know how to get around the system. I still see loads of them coming to the page. But I wanted to show the kind of harassment at this point, mass reporting, a problem that Facebook and Instagram have severely. If you take this as haram stuff, this is one of the few occasions that I managed to document. Take a look at the difference in time between one report and the other. One hour, 21 minutes, 53 minutes, 52 minutes, two minutes. It was one after the other, after the other, after the other. We were not publishing only, we were publishing one or two a day. And, and it was when, they, when the jihadis, e jihadis started, it was one after the other, after the other, after the other. There was no break. It was just, and, and why they were doing it? Because it was enabled. Once they closed one post, they called each other back 
and say, let's go for it. Yeah. So we tried to make a light humor about it and made a post saying, how do you know uh, facts hurt them when they must report everything they see? They were just mass reporting everything. They're not even checking whether this is bad, this is wrong, this is against Islam. They were just reporting everything. And then we managed to trace back where these are happening, and they're happening on multiple pages that are enabled on Facebook that have, are dedicated to reporting anti-Islamic pages, supposedly. I mean, all, look how many pages do we have. And this one on the top has 11,500 followers. And when they put the, uh, a page, they all blindly start reporting without even checking. This is the problem that we have with social media. And similar ones will be on Instagram. So next is a documentation of this harassment. So let's take a look. So this is an example. I know you've seen these guys, but let's have a laugh, you know, because we can only laugh at these things. So this was one of the ones I managed to document. Notice, by the way, the admin from Pakistan documented because you can see Telecom PK at the top from Pakistan. And it says, um, uh, this post goes against our community standard for spam. A spam? What did we have? <laughs> this. What, how is this spam? The proof that, uh, that Allah exists and the proof that Spider-Man exists. This is spam. It's according. unbelievable, really. Oh, wait, this yeah. is unbelievable. What do you think? This is spam? I mean, we're going to see many of these, yeah? But this is spamming the internet. Okay? Another one, okay? And we'll, we'll laugh even more on this one. Again, this one. This post goes against our community standard for spamming. Again, what is this? This says, it's good to have a glass of wine in Jannah. We have to do something with that. Uh, one time you said to me, uh, Hassan, that we have to find a lawyer. Yes, uh, and really uh, go uh, uh, open a case against these social media platforms. Once we win, I'm 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 urging any lawyer who sees it at any point. I'm not gonna keep a penny of it. I don't need money. I'm I'm doing very well as a professor. I actually donate money to ex-Muslim pages. I, I'll any sue them for billions. Keep half of them, and the other half we're gonna donate them to ex-Muslim movements. I'm not going to keep a penny. I have everything documented. You're going to see loads of them still. We're just starting, by the way. But it's we, if a lawyer out there who wants to make a billions and settle down, come get in touch with me on, on Sharia Gram and keep half the money for yourself. We'll sign everything. Just go after them and teach them. Because once they're sued, they'll change their policies. They'll know that they can't do this. Yeah, censoring us is against democratic law. It's a, it's Islamic law. They are implementing Islamic law on Facebook. And, and that's why I call them fatwa book and Instagram. <laughs> I call them Sharia book because they yeah. are doing the Sharia. I mean, let's look some more. So this one, hate speech. So this goes against our community standard on hate speech. Now, let me show you what this says. It says two women leading Germany and Britain. Yeah. Never will succeed such a nation as makes a woman the ruler. W where is hate? This is a hadith. Yes. And this is two women trying to show that women can lead. And this is translated from Arabic. You can see the author, Najm yes. and, uh, and Nisaj. And, uh, it, 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 and I say, then an idiot said, maybe this insulted them. I said, okay, I'll be more careful than using this word. But this was hate speech. Okay, then this one. This one was actually shared on your page as well. And this was one of the best. I love yeah. so much. <laughs> yeah, well, this was also was removed. And I was banned for six days because of it. And what is this? Let's see. What is the hate speech here? It says, Allah during the pandemic, not doing anything, after many deaths and scientists finding the vaccine, alhamdulillah. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, 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 you know what I mean? It's, don't forget to say alhamdulillah. It's... It, it, it's is where is the hate? But we have only started. L listen yeah. to this. So this one, this one went through a long process of saying this is not, and they accept it, and they reject it, and they accept it, and then reject it, and then they remove it completely. Yeah, we, we have okay, take a look. What, what is hate speech here? How to keep your faith in Allah. If it's something you like, it's from Allah. If it's something you don't like, it's bad luck. See how simple it is? <laughs> yeah, but, but, but this this is the, this the reality in the. And it's in, so in, innocent. It's so yeah, cute innocent. and innocent. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, but it's, they they take. I mean, I, we we would examine me and three other admin to try to learn, and we can't figure out. It became so arbitrary. That's why I called community standards unwritten rules because we can't tell. And then at one point, a page got completely blocked. That was the ex-Muslim page uh, memes. And it just, it says, unpublish, we're going to unpublish. They kept warning us and warning us and, and boom, it disappeared. One instance, for instance, it said, um, this photo is no longer available. And we, I couldn't understand. This was in Arabic. I translated it. And it said it's showing nudity. But, you know, what nudity? It's historic photos of slaves showing the women slaves of how they used to treat the milk yamin in Arabia, photographic evidence. So we start hiding their breasts because this is offending Facebook. But this is the, this pay, this specific meme closed the page completely. So we're getting all these warning warnings, and then we put this. And what is it about? It's about Salman Rushdie giving a speech, yeah. And we, so this was taken from an atheist page. So it wasn't our creation. It was sharing it from an atheist place. And what does it say? Respect for religion has become a code phrase meaning fear of religion. Religions, like all other ideas, deserve criticism, satire, and yes our fearless disrespect. And f after this post, the page got closed. They're going to say some more now. You know, you will know for sure that they're looking for any reason. Yes. Because one day, I mean, you can see this day. Look at the post. 10th of February, 2001. 10th of February, 2001. 10th of February, 2001. 10th of February, 2001. 10th of February. All of them in one single day were hate speech. So let's take a look just at each one of them. And if you see anything hate speech, because by the way, you shared many of them uh, on, on, on your page, tell me if you see any hate speech. So this is the first one. Al Jazeera presenter, who told you Allah is above us? Allah is everywhere. Richard Dawkins, no, what, uh, what, so what was the point of Burak, a horse with wings, if Allah is not above us? And then I add the Quranic verses in the bottom. How is this hate speech? You know, even this is from an interview in in in, in England, right? Yes. This, uh, yes. this Muslim with, uh, guy, uh, yeah. This with is from an interview. Yeah. Yes. Where is hate speech? Next one. Mo was having problems with unwanted visitors, so he kicks yeah. them out and says, "Allah, please give me a Quran," and he comes back. Yeah, the visitors come back. So it says, "Don't visit Mo when he is preparing food." Don't hang about, eat and leave. Mo is busy. Yeah, Quran 5353, hate speech. Okay, you know why this is hate speech, Hassan? Because why? this is this verse is causing millions of ex Muslims when they, they when they read the Quran, when they begin to, this verse is one of the uh reason many mm -hmm. people uh leaving Islam because of they see what is what the heck is this. Yeah. Why Allah Allah put this verse in the the the, the creator of the whole universe, sending yeah, us a, a guide book, and yeah. putting this. The whole chapter thirty three is an evidence that uh, yeah. Muhammad was writing it, because you wouldn't believe a god at the beginning of the universe wrote on solid plates tablets the Quran. This is what we believe that Muhammad go and marry uh, Zainab. And, oh, I'm cancelling adoption, having Muhammad been adopting a child for 15 years. And, oh, don't visit Muhammad when he's busy and cooking food. He wrote this 15 billion years ago. I mean, it's, it's, it's of course, people start asking questions, especially verse 3350, where it says, oh, Muhammad, have any woman you like. You know, any woman who comes and offers herself for you for sex, take her. You know what I mean? It's, it's there. So, you know, they... But let's continue because we don't want to dwell. This is hate speech. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. And he clicks send. Damn, I forgot. I'm the only creator. You see, where is the hate speech in this one? This is Quran, yeah? This one, Muhammad said, uh, whoever has seven dates for breakfast, no poison or magic. How did he die? Poison. You see, I'm translating it from Arabic. Yeah? Even the Arabic is still in the background. That's hate speech. This one, remember pagans and Romans spread three continent and lasted 1,250 uh, uh, years, never needing a divine intervention <laughs> from Allah. It's What's wrong with this? I'm just sharing this. This one is very popular. 
Does anyone still believe that the sun goes to prost uh, prostate under Allah's throne after sunset? And I put the hadith. Yeah. The, the sun goes to knee under Allah's throne. Of course not, but this is apparently hate speech. And the last one, do you think Allah needs you and your prayer? Uh, then he says, "Why? Why? Uh, then why did he create us just to pray for him?" Yeah, and there's the Quran verse. All these were flagged as hate speech. Um, this one was shared on your page. Take a look, ex-Muslims of Norway. So it is Islam is a religion of peace. You remember, it's Pinocchio, and then his nose gets longer. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, all all we did is we shared it on the Atheist Republic of Pakistan. We got 30 day. Ba uh, ban and post was mm -hmm. still in our page in next and the post is still on your page now explain this um so again we start getting warnings you can see here you can't invite friends or like your page right now i'm sure you got some similar stuff there's this warning this is almost ridiculous that if anyone tries to come and like our page they'll get this warning and I don't know if you're getting it yourself at this point. When you we, like, we, we, we got before. We got. Okay, you'll see updates for it in your news feed. You may want to review the atheist public Pakistan to see the type of content. Basically, it's telling you what you're doing is haram. Yeah. Are you sure you want to go? Be careful. Do you want to go in this evil page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kafir. You know Shaitan. what are you doing? <laughs> You know, it's like, you know, it's, 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 it is fatwa book. We, we, we entered the digital jail. The digital jail meaning now um, you search for the page, you can't find it. Yeah. You have to Google it from outside to find it. You can't actually find it within Facebook. Um, and and it, we just came out of the lock, lockdown, which we were stuck in until the 20th of April. So now things are starting to ease. But for a whole year, we couldn't... We were too careful not to publish anything because we did not want to lose the page completely. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're now coming out of the digital lockdown and we're going to start publishing a little bit here and there uh, to see how we're going to go because we, we don't want a, uh, the page to close. But in case you thought this is just fatwa book, Sharia Gram is equally bad. This is what I've been having. Sharia Gram is the best name. <laughs> yeah, I, I, my names are fatwa book, Sharia Gram, and... Uh, Twitter ban, Twitter ban for Taliban because they kept Taliban on there. So yeah. I call them Twitter ban. And you know we should we should I'm make right these right. words normal because then they'll start thinking what are we doing. Yeah. So they they they've been warning me, and this is just just from two days ago, yeah. when they took this post out and told me this goes against their community standard. And what is it? It says uh, Muhammad married Aisha at the age of six and slept with her at the age of nine. <laughs> Panic. Yeah, girls back then matured early, so she was mature, calm, yeah? And then the last one is, she was still playing with dolls when he slept with her. Panic, 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 yeah? yeah. It's, it's, there's nothing. And, 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 and what they say is that it's bullying. No, no, listen, uh, on harassment or bullying. Who okay. am I harassing and who am I bullying? I don't understand. So anyway, I appealed, they accepted it. They said, oh no, we're, we're sorry. Within an hour, they came back and said, no, 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 we're not sorry. We took it out. Within an hour, they took it out. It's just a joke. And then this one, again, this was simply saying um, the religion of peace, uh, but uh, Sharia is the, uh, Islam and Sharia is the religion of peace, but yeah. all Taliban is going to do is apply the Sharia. Why are they running away if it's the yeah. religion of peace? Again, they removed Very it. Very legitimate question. Very little, there's nothing in there. I, again, they're doing the same thing. So something we started picking up is that avoid the word Taliban, Daesh, ISIS. Avoid the word Muslim or Muslims. Avoid terrorism. And try to avoid the word sex or any related word to sex. Because they trigger the AI, the artificial... Yeah, I mean, yeah, this I can't write the word Muslims normally. So many people are avoiding that. So... Because I try to keep my work academic, I use the word Islam, Islamic country, uh, Islamic believer, Islamist. You know, these words seem to be going all right. But also you can see that Arabs are starting to spot that because they've been harassed even more. So they put lines over certain words to get to stop the AI picking it up. And, and these are just fun ones. So this is saying 
uh, on the left one it says when your mother uh, cooks chips with clean oil mm -hmm. and when the restaurant kick, uh, cooks oil with dirty oil but the dirty one looks a lot nicer yeah but yeah. they had to put a line over dirty so that the ai wooden uh, system go oh you know you said the dirty word yeah and here also is a kind of like a, 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 a swearing it says uh, the child gets their uh, rizq, rizq, which is like yeah. a, a God's uh, gift, yeah. whether the dollar is six uh, uh, pounds, Egyptian pounds, or 18 pounds, yeah? Okay, so let's name a uh, uh, motherfucker, you know, something along these lines, sorry for the language, but they put a line to cover it, yeah? And then the next hadith say, go and work uh, so you can get your result you know to get your you know <laughs> what the hell your mother you know what i mean so yeah, yeah. so they had to cover it again to stop the ai stopping it because it's true even this one i mean i'm always very careful but this is meant to be a parody not real uh, so it's just a bit of a joke taliban mm -hmm. traffic police does not ask for your driving license instead he checks if you can if you have, uh, if you can rehearse the da'wah to travel, du'a as safar. If you fail, you get a ticket for drive uh, dangerous driving under shaitan influence. Yeah, but we had to put a line over Taliban so that it does not trigger the AI. We, it's we're it's just ridiculous the amount of it work is. we have to do. The social media don't have the manpower or the human power to go through every report. So the first line of report, and that's why many times they get it wrong and they put it back in, is an artificial intelligence system that reads the post and then looks for these dangerous words like ISIS, terrorism, Taliban, Muslims, because when you're speaking about Muslim, you're kind of targeting people, Jews. You know, one time we got a warning because we used the word Jews, but we were not attacking the Jews. One time, we, we uh, one post, and I didn't take a picture because I was, I was so shocked, I was couldn't believe it, is with pictures of three flags, including uh, the LGBT flag and other flag and, and, and uh, ISIS flag. And it said, you know, I forgot what it was about, to be honest. It was, it was copied from another website. And it said how they're, you know, it said that we were using the ISIS as a propaganda. We were not using ISIS as propaganda. We're not the propaganda. We're atheists. What the hell? What's wrong with you people? Yeah. So yeah. it... But it was an AI system that doesn't know. It's just looking for those keywords. So because this is the first line, if the AI reads it and can't find anything dangerous, so they read this one and say, traffic police does not ask for your driving license. Uh, uh, instead, he checks if you rehearse something. They think, oh, the AI will ignore it and say, no, there's nothing here. Because in this case, you, you hit the keyword, and that was the word Taliban. You see what I mean? And then they don't classify it under dangerous anymore. So that's where it. I can see it working. I'm going to start to adapt it. But I think we need to move as well to video, uh, short videos and stuff. Yeah. The social media is changing. It's not going to be image and post sharing anymore. It's one of the reasons why I decided now is the time to start talking. Um, I'm working on a few private projects I already told uh, uh, Kim, uh, Kimal about them and I'm hoping I'm going to develop them this summer uh, and and be able to produce something that will make it even harder to report but easier to share um, but I mean it, let's conclude this key point is that of course you suffered, many people suffered uh, Harris for instance got blocked 30 days on ba Facebook just for <coughs> speaking about uh, Asa Bibli being threatened yeah he didn't say anything wrong. Um, and and this is a typical example. Actually, this was taken from your page uh, when one of your followers, and hit their name, having to respond to how the community standards react. says, my previous comment apparently violates community standard of Facebook. So they remove that after warning me. So here it goes, my community standard friendly comment. Islam is never wrong. If hadith and Quran guide is uh, in such a way, then it's okay to sell slave women, and this, then it must be so. I mean, it's, it's, you know, this, and this wasn't removed. 
This was, I mean, we kind of create because we were angry with Facebook at the time because they started doing this false information. We didn't have that on our page, but just as a joke. Um, there's a claim that Mark Sigerberg has balls. <laughs> false information. You know, we, we have double checked that and the guy has no. It, it was just, again, we have to make a lighthearted yeah. look at where it is. And that's a fact, actually. If he, if he, he needs the money coming from the Gulf, he doesn't need us. And we just need to fight it. And I think in any event, Facebook is dying and yeah. and we need to start looking somewhere else. Um, and and this is still a call for any lawyer out there who wants to come along and and make as money money that will keep his grand grand grandchildren uh, rich. Come talk to me on Instagram if I'm still there. Otherwise, find me on uh, uh, Telegram um, and let's get a case. I'm also going to email uh, Camille the updated version of the slides. I think this is the last one. Uh, yeah, this is the last one. Um, so he has a copy of it. All we could do is keep pushing, but I'm optimistic. Look, if you look 10 years ago where we were yeah. as an ex-Muslim movement, from from the from apostate prophet to Christian prince to uh, Abdullah Samir to Harris Sultan to, to your page here, let's not leave on a negative note we we are pushing the yeah. boundaries every day. Maybe for sure, maybe they, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe they don't like how quickly we're pushing. Maybe they think we should we should be patient, but we're not gonna be patient. We're no. gonna keep pushing and we pushing. Are, 